Hey guys, this is Dave Lord 299 here and um today um we'll be doing another video. Yes, I know I did say that um I'm not gonna upload for a while but because of the whole art fair thing and yeah I know I did feel bad for it and I wanna try to avoid that again. So I have to be really really careful of using like photos and um also credit music too. So I'm only gonna be using the photos that are not copyrighted or not like um you know like people are, let them allow to use them you know you see how you, what if youtubers like they use thumbnails and and photos and stuff like that those are not copyrighted ones and some of them are just fan arts that give it to them so i want to try to use like photos that are not copyrighted or not made by a fan but from a actual owner from a game uh, again yeah, you yeah, again, you see a lot of people use these type of photos like that, so I want you to be careful with that, but that's not a point of the video. At this point of the video, I will be doing, like, another type of a discussion video. Yeah, we'll be doing another discussion video today. So, listen up, and let's get this started. Also, if you're new here, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It's free. You can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. Now, it's just a small talk. It's not really anything special or anything like that. And I know it's going to be a lazy video ad because I'm still working on the intro. I'm still working on the outro. And it's not going to be like too insane or anything like that. Just like average, if anything like that. So anyway, we're going to be talking about a video that I deleted it. But um, because of, you know, photos and stuff. But um, yeah, we'll be remaking that video. But you don't see photos, so... I recommend you um search it for it. So today we'll be talking about a characters that could defeat Goku again. So um I already made this video before, but I deleted it because of you know copyright and stolen art. So I'm gonna remake it, but you're not gonna see any photos. So let's talk about a few characters that some people think that could destroy Goku, but realistically they can't. And there's a reason why behind it. And if you see your favorite character or hear about your favorite character that can't be Goku. Listen, I want you to understand this. I'm not saying that the character you like, you should not like it. You could like whatever character you like. And if you disagree with me, then that's fine. Okay, let's talk about one particular person that I think this person could defeat Goku. It's the guy who has the death note. They say that they could defeat Goku by just simply writing his name i mean that is true but it's one problem he has to know goku's real name like goku it's not his real name goku's real name is kakarot and i doubt he will find his name will be kakarot because that's the only way to kill him as a matter of fact we don't even know if the note could even kill non-human beings and yeah another character that people say who could destroy Goku is Naruto and Sasuke because of ninjutsu and other abilities they have. I mean, them making it sound like Naruto and Sasuke are like Master Ultra Instinct level, which is false. The only thing I see from there they could do is just cut moons in halves. And Goku, he could destroy a moon as a child, literally. And right now, if Naruto and Sasuke fight Goku right now, Goku's just going to kill them by breathing. And here's why. Yeah, characters have hacks, but you could break through hacks with raw power. So Goku, who just powered up, break all the hacks, and then one-shot them with a pinky. That's it. End of story. And another character say that they could defeat Goku is other gods with deities and who are omnitative. And characters who are omnitative would be Goku. So, um... I will kill from that. Another thing people say that could defeat Goku is Awful One because Awful One could steal Goku's powers, but that's not true. He could only steal quirks, and if he tries to steal Goku's power, he's not going to have his power at all. And Goku's going to look at him weird and just punch him in the face, and then he dies immediately. And there's this one website on CBR to say that Rhydon could defeat Goku, which is stupid. If you don't know what a Rhydon is, it's a Pokemon. And this Pokemon has this move called Horn Drill or Drill Run, whatever the name is. It's a move that could one-shot a Pokemon. And they say they could defeat Goku because of that move. Goku's too fast for Rhydon. 
as a matter of fact, the only thing you see in a Pokemon show is that um, Pokemon can hurt humans, but Goku's no ordinary human. As a matter of fact, he's not even a human at all. He's a Saiyan. He literally tank attacks. Like, he tank a bullet attack from Boma as a kid. So, right away, you know how strong Goku is. Like, guns wouldn't hurt Goku at all. And we all know that guns will pierce through a human skin so easily. And Pokemon, yeah, they do hurt you, but we don't even see a Pokemon pierce into a people's skin. I mean, not even a TV show. Like, I haven't seen Ash get stabbed by a Pokemon. I mean, he get poked by it, but I don't see it get stabbed by it and bleeds and everything like that. So, if they never get bleed, then who, I mean, who even thinks about a Pokemon can one-shot Goku? Where he literally, like, God level. So, yeah, nice try. A Pokemon will just die by breathing by Goku. And also, just letting you all know, if you are a Naruto fan, none of the Naruto universe characters will stand a chance against Dragon Ball Super characters. Yeah, it doesn't matter to have their hacks. Again, just like I said before, Dragon Ball characters could break hacks with raw power. For example, there's a opponent named Hit. He could skip time, control time, and Goku broke all of that with raw power. Hit traps Jiren in a time cage. Hit was so much powerful than Goku and he was well, the original, but Jiren's still stronger. He broke through Hit's time skip and the time lag or cage. And the time cage will freeze you until Hit couldn't hold it any longer, but Jiren broke out of it. That's how strong this guy is. Again, there's a bunch of characters have hacks, but they could break through hacks with raw power. So all the Naruto characters will just die. And if you are curious enough to hear other characters, such as Sans, if Sans could defeat Goku, Sans will not defeat Goku. He will just get killed because Goku is just too faster than Sans. And if not that, he's also stronger and have more crazy abilities. Has the solar flare, but Sans will get blind because he's a skeleton, but he will still get killed. Even Sans try to use his telekinesis to lift Goku around and throw him stuff, he won't because Goku is just too strong. And Sans would get his skull smash. As for Monica, I mean, Dragon Ball is not a game technically, but yeah, Monica is not going to do anything either. What about Sailor Moon? I'm not going to get into that debate at all because I'm still watching Sailor Moon. I'm around episode 4 or 5. So yeah, speaking of Sailor Moon, I'm not going to do any videos of her. So yeah, because it's just going to waste my time. And Monica, um, to be honest, Monica would kill Goku because of her crazy power and abilities. What about Superman? Um, it, it really depends on what Superman we're using. Oh, it depends what Goku we're using. Because really, I see realistically many, many people are talking about who's better, Goku or Superman. And I would say that it depends on what Superman or Goku you're using. Like movie, Superman, manga, Superman. No, sorry. Comic Superman, yeah, my bad, not manga, comic, excuse me. So, yeah, I want to leave it like that. As for Goku and Saitama, Saitama got damaged by a solar system buster, and people say he's the gag character, but I'm not too sure until I watch it myself. And if he, if he was damaged by a solar system buster, then he must have a limit. But I could be wrong, because I never watched this, um, I never watched the show or read the manga, but... I heard he got damaged by a solar system buster. So, but again, who knows? He could still hold him back a lot of power, but I don't want to get to that debate either. And that's it. That's all the characters that people think that would destroy Goku. The most stupidest one that people even imagine that this character could beat Goku is Rhydon. And it came from CBR.com. And, um, you know, CBR. I can't even tell if they taken this seriously or not, but the way in the article they written, and they want it to be, oh my god, I can't even speak. I'm sorry, just like flabbergasted. I'm still flabbergasted seeing that. They wanted us to be taken seriously. This article wants to be taken seriously. Like, someone actually wrote this. Someone actually wrote this to be taken seriously. But of course, it's CBR. CBR doesn't care about what people think. They just... Do videos for the click. I'm not going to link the subscription because I'd rather not. 
because you guys are just going to click it and just make more money. But if you are curious, just search it up like 10 characters could defeat Goku. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.